In this video, we're going to be opening up Shining Fates and Hidden Fates to find out which is the best set. We all know that Shining Fates is the sister set of Hidden Fates, okay? They're very closely related, being as they both have baby shiny hollows, but then they have also the full art Vs or GXs. Hidden Fates, of course, being from the Sun and Moon era, while Shining Fates is from the Sword and Shield era. Both, of course, featuring some absolutely incredible artwork and... Drum roll, both including a shiny Charizard full art card. In Hidden Fates, we have the shiny Charizard GX, and then in Shining Fates, we have the shiny Charizard VMAX. And today we're opening 12 packs of each to find out which is best. Well, first I wanna say a big thank you to Xavi for sponsoring this video for the launch of their brand new and exclusive fully licensed Pokemon clothing range. As you guys can see, this is one of the pieces from their collection. And this is the back, look at that, I choose you, so cute. This awesome t-shirt too. And as you guys can see on the website right here, there are a bunch of different products to choose from. We've got the Pokemon original collection with the Pikachu in mustard, I love this. The hoodie, the oversized Mewtwo t-shirt as well. Look at this. Great price as well. And we've got some discounts for you guys later in the video. Psyduck hoodie, Charmander t-shirt. Yo, this one is so sick. We've got Charmander on the front. On the back, you've got Charmeleon and Charizard. And as you guys can see, the products just keep going and going. Magikarp into Gyarados. Cubone as well. Bulbasaur into Venusaur. They also have the Pokeball on there from the One Company. This is a fantastic product. This Pokeball literally starts to glow as you move your hand towards it. And I've actually got the Aikido and Pokemon collaboration shoe right here. Damn. Wow, look at these. We've got Pikachu right here on the side and also the number 25. Significant because of the 25th anniversary, but also that is Pikachu's Pokedex number, which is why this anniversary is really special. We've got Pikachu there as well. These are really cool. And then we've got the same on the other foot as well. Very, very sick. Shout out to Xavi once more. And guys, let's talk discounts. So if you do want to get any of the products featured in today's video, make sure that you use the link in my description, okay? Click the link in the description and go and get whatever you want. And make sure you use my custom discount codes. We've got Randolph 10 that gives you 10% off the entire Xavi website not including pre-orders, but then we have Randolph 20, which gives you 20% off all clothing, including this Pokemon clothing, okay? And definitely go and pick up the Aikido shoes because that design is exclusive to Zavi. So make sure you guys go and check out Zavi. Make sure you pick up some of these products. And if you do, use my link and use my discount code and you can thank me later, okay? Back to the video. All right, so we're gonna open Shining Fates first, being as that is the new kid on the block. And then we're gonna end it with Hidden Fates. I most likely also will get both of these set names mixed up because they are very similar. But here we go, 24 packs in total, 12 Shining Fates, 12 Hidden and face let's do it four from the back give it a tap hashtag first pack look down in the comments and we have a psychic energy a gym trainer luxio dartrix yanma morpeko coughing gossip fleur a cacnea we have a shiny dracovish in our very first pack come on and then we have a morpeko v as our main set pull all right so great first pack from shining face a shiny pull and a v pull very very nice but we have a long way to go again throw from the back give it a tap we've got a grass energy roosted sword rotom elder goss horsey yanma morpeko coughing Gossip Fleur, a shiny Dartrix as well. So another shiny Pokemon in back-to-back -back packs and a Manaphy non-holo. So wow, two baby shinies so far for Shining Fates. You know what? It's starting strong, that's for sure. However, this test today is not just going to be like which set gives the most pulls out of 12 packs. That's such a small sample size. But instead, it's going to be let's look at the cards we pull. Let's see our enjoyment of both sets and see which one we prefer opening. I've got my opinions, but we'll go through my opinions towards the end after we've done this initial experiment. Oh my gosh. And there we go. It turns V. Oh my gosh. Wow. Volcanion. You know what, guys? I'm of the opinion Hidden Fates is the better set, but Shining Fates is doing its most today. Shining Fates is doing the most to try and swim me into its direction. Eternatus Gold Card. Wow. That is fantastic. That is absolutely incredible. Okay. Wow. Three massive hits straight off the bat. Yo, Hidden Face. You guys are going to need to uh, <laughs> step up if you want to win this crown today. Goodness me. Okay. Four from the back. Let's go. Water Energy. We have a Rotom that was hiding behind our energy. Cramorant. Rusted Shield, Horsey, Snom, Morpeko, Cacnea, a Gossip Fleur Reverse, and then a Dreadnought. So our first kind of dead pack. Of course, Charizard is the card that we're looking for. So let's see if we can get either of those today in Hidden Fates or Shining Fates. I've already pulled the Shining Fates on camera. I've never pulled the Hidden Fates Charizard on camera. So today could be the day. If there's ever a time to do it, it would be now for Hidden Fates. We have uh, Float Soul, Dartrix, Snom on a Bench, Grookey, Eevee, Morpeko, Tutel, a Horsey Reverse, and a Piers Full Art from the Shining Fates set rather than the Shiny Vault set within Shining Fates. Flip an X, so five packs in and we're doing good. We're doing real good. Next pack is the code card. Okay, we have a Darkness Energy. I always say in Shining Fates, Darkness Energy has been my good luck charm. Dartrix, Morpeko, Buizel, Nicket, Cacnea, 
Qfint, a reverse Hollow Morph Echo, and a Dreadnought. Next up, so it's starting to slow down a little bit now. We came out of the gate fast with Shining Fates, but, you know, retracing now, <laughs> if you want to use that term. Fighting Energy, Rusted Shield, Rotom, Cramorant, Shinx, Horsey, Yanma, Morpeko, Coughing, a Reverse Holo looks right, very nice, and a Frostmoth Holo. I actually really like that Frostmoth card. Okay, next up, I think we're almost halfway through Shining Fates now. Probably just over half, actually. Four from the back, give it that tap. We have the Water Energy. The Wacky, Ball Guy, Gossifleur, Cacnea, Tootle, Eevee, Nickit. We have the Reverse Holo Rotom and the Yanmega Rare. One, two, three, four. Add a Clare of Thornwall. Let's go. Gym Trainer, Floatzel. Team Yell Towel, Rowlet, Morpeko, Nickit, a Eevee, Gossip Fleur, a Reverse Holo Team Yell Towel, and a Delmise V. So the shiny look, the shiny charm is wearing off a little bit. Got to go and complete the Pokedex once more to get it back. I also just saw the new announcement of the Pokemon games. Very, very cool. Looking forward to those. The Diamond and Pearl remakes, and then also the, what's it called? The Pokemon Legends. Okay, next pack we have the Metal Energy, uh, Tropius, Gym Trainer, Floatzel, Spinarak, Snom, Horsey, and a Rowlet behind Horsey, Morpeko, a Cramorant. Let's go. We got a Cramorant Shiny, Orange Chicken, and then we have the Ditto. Hey, the Ditto punching you in the face. A nice pack right there. We got another Shiny. It's our third baby Shiny right now. And then a Ditto. Can we get a full art Shiny? That would be the question. And then we still have 12 more Hidden Fates packs, which I'm really looking forward to because I love that set. I'm not sure if Shining Fates will ever match the feeling I have of Hidden Fates, but that might not be fair to Shining Fates in the sense that I just opened Hidden Fates, you know, a time in my life where I really needed it. I really needed that distraction from life and it, and it gave it. Uh, so maybe I'm at a different point in my life when I'm opening Shining Fates, etc. But let's see. We'll talk about that at the end. Float Salt, Tropius, Ball Guy, Buizel, Coughing, a Shinx, Garuki, Trapinch, a Reversal of Decidueye. Very nice card there. And a Manaphy. And here we go, guys. Our final Shining Fates pack right here. The last one. Let's see. Can we do some madness here? Can we get a V Full Art or a V Max Full Art Shiny? Let's see. Four from the back. Give it that tap. We got a Lightning Energy. Thwacky, Gym Trainer. We have Floatzel, Garuki. Trapinch, Yanma, Coughing, Morpeko. Oh my word, no way. We have another gold Eternatus V. So actually, and a Decidueye towards the end. So actually no shiny V full arts or no shiny <laughs> uh, V maxes, but we did get the Eternatus V, which is really interesting because this is a card that doesn't exist in Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates does have gold cards, but not in this same stance of the Eternatus. But there we go, guys. We pulled two of them. Flipping out. And here are the rest of our Shining Fates pulls, but we'll analyze them at the end when we've opened Hidden Fates. And here we go, guys. The Originator Hidden Fates, the one and only Let's see how it compares. I told you my allegiance kind of lies with Hidden Fates, but let's see if it can put its money where its mouth is and match those pulls from Shining Fates because they were they were great pulls. Let's see. We have a Grass Energy to start us off. Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Sabrina Suggestion, Ekin Snake Backwards, my guy, Charman. It, it has to win for that reason only, right? It has to win for that. Magic Carp, Star You, a Reverse Hollow Ekin Snake. This set is just, it's just biting at my ankles and saying, look, Randy, look what you are missing out on. I am the set. I am the originator. Ekin Snipback is my guy. And then, and then Arbok. What is, what is going on? Unbelievable tactics from Hidden Fates right here, guys. I can't believe what they're doing. All right, second pack. We have the code card right here. We have a Fighting Energy, Farfetch'd, Brock's Gym, Chansey, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Voltorb, a reverse hot, well, blah, 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 blah. reverse hollow, a shiny Rowlet in our second pack and an electrode. So here we go. Ooh, this is a good shiny. How does this compare? Although there is a shiny Rowlet in Shining Face. Like this is the only shiny Pokemon I think that's in both. Correct me if I'm wrong. There may be another, but I do know that Rowlet, Decidueye, and Dartrix are all in Shining Face as well as Hidden Face. Four from the back, we have a Fairy Edit. That right there as well is a reason why Hidden Face is better. Brock's Grit, I wonder what it tastes like. Goodness me, if there's an Ekans in this pack, we've got the Trifecta, guys. Is there an Ekans? Caterpie? Eevee, Lieutenant Surge Strategy, and a Zapdos Hollow. That could have been the trilogy right there, guys. All right, next up, we have a Code Card. We have a Fairy Energy again. Oh, my goodness. Metapod, Sabrina Suggestion, Charmeleon, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Reverse Hollow Charmander, and a Butterfree. A lot slower out of the gate than Shining Fates, but again, this sample size doesn't really reflect the set as a whole. This is just like a fun little pack battle between the two sets to do as a video concept. We've got a Water Energy, Brock's Grit, I wonder what that tastes like. Misty Determination, Pokemon Center, Lady, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekin Snake Backwards, my guy, Coughing, Paris, 
Oh, a shiny Cartana. And then a Charizard GX. Ooh, okay. So we did get a Charizard GX. This, in my opinion, doesn't really boost this set as a whole because Charizard is just a GX card and it is all about the shiny cards in these sets. But that is a nice thing to get. You know, you get a lot of value out of that. In fact, that right there is just paid for, you know, the entirety of those 12 packs if you get a PSA 10. And I feel like the Ultra Beast in Hidden Fates do drop the grade a little bit, but we'll talk about it towards the end. Next pack right here, we have the Code card. We have four from the back and a Darkness Energy. Brock's grip, wonder what it tastes like. I, I gotta get him in, guys. I gotta get him in while I can. I don't open a set too often on the channel anymore. Eevee, Ekans Snake Backwards, my guy. Charmander, Psyduck, a Reverse Holo Psyduck, and a Vaporeon Holo. Mewtwo as the cover art. Those who've watched this channel for a long time, back in the original Hidden Fates days, will know that Mewtwo is my arch nemesis when it comes to Hidden Fates packs, okay? It really is. Darkness Energy, Metapod, Jinx, Magmar, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, I can stay back as my guy, Arbok, <laughs> Cobra backwards, and then a build analysis. You know what? These hidden face packs are quite slow, you know? Quite dry today. Also, for clarification, the 12 packs of Shining Fates were taken from the Pikachu V collection boxes, whereas the 12 hidden face packs were taken out of three tins. Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, we have, oh, Ekans, I ruined it. Stay back as my guy. Pokemon Center Lady and I missed his Water Command. Hidden Fates needs to crawl it back because in this video, at least, Shining Fates is the clear winner so far. I have to say it, guys. Uh, Grass Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Scyther Energy, Charmeleon, Charmander. Or is it a sign? Voltorb, Coughing, Ekans, stay back as my guy. Cubone, a Shiny Oranguru. So I believe now, actually, we have matched. Wait, no, there's a Shiny Oranguru, right? There's a Shiny Oranguru in both sets as well. Shining Fates and Hidden Fates. Then we have a Snorlax Rare, Pog. But yeah, there we go. Three baby shines in each opening so far, but the Shining Fates has those gold cards. We do have three more packs, though. Three more packs from Hidden Fates, so there's a lot more to go. Let's see what it can do. Four from the back. Give it a tap, and we have the Metal Energy. The Chansey, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magic Carp. We have a Reverse Hollow Mew. Very, very nice. And the final card is a... Woo! Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno full on. Now, this is a bit... Sorry, I'm dropping all the commons are like falling off my desk. Uh, this is a big, big plus to the Hidden Fates set. I really like the Ultra Rares and the Hyper Rares from Hidden Fates. Probably a little bit more so than the Shining Fates set. And I'm not talking about the Shiny Vault, okay? I'm talking about the actual Hidden Fates versus Shining Fates. In my opinion, the Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno card does beat the Alcremi VMAX card from Shining Fates. All right, penultimate pack of Hidden Fates. We need a banger. We need another banger. We've got a Fire Energy. Is that a sign? Graveler. Giovanni's Exile, Brock's Grit. I wonder what that tastes like. Jigglypuff, Ekans, Snake Backwards, my guy. Coughing, Cubone, Reverse Hollow Paris, and a Gyarados GX. The GXs are quite nice, to be fair. The Charizard, Gyarados, yeah. But you can get some stinkers. You can get the Onyx. You can get the Pinsir. You can get the Starmie. No offense to those cards. And here we are, guys. Our final, woo, our final Hidden Fates pack of the video. What can we see from this pack right here? No full art GX. Wow, that's actually quite rare in three tins to get that. We've got a Fairy Energy as a final energy. Metapod, Charmeleon, Magmar, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu. I can sit back as my guy. Coughing, we have a Reverse Hollow Scyther Energy and a Weezing. So wow, decent pulls from both sides, but neither of them gave us a full art shiny, whether it's a full art shiny GX or a full art shiny V or V Max. And now it's time to compare each set in terms of pulls. Hidden Fates, we had a decent amount of success. We've got three of the baby shinies. We've got a GX Gyarados and a GX Charizard, both which are actually decent pulls. And of course we did get the full art Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno. So I think that's pretty successful. Like I said, I'm a bit disappointed that we didn't get the full art GX, especially out of 12 packs, three tins. But then in Shining Fates, not only did we get the three baby shines, we also got the two gold Eternatus cards, both hyper rares from the Shiny Vault side of the set. We also then got some really cool Vs, the Ditto, Delmise, and the Morpeko, and we got the Piers full art. So yeah, in terms of pulls in this video, Shining Fates clearly wins. And does that mean it's a better set? Maybe. It actually might mean that. Some could say if there are more pulls to get in a set and a wider range of pulls, it's a more exciting set to open. You know, you have more enjoyment out of opening it, you get better results. And to be honest, I was very surprised with these pulls and my enjoyment of Shining Fates. I kind of always thought in my head, Hidden Fates is the best set, Hidden Fates is my set, but again, that might be a personal opinion rather than an objective one. One thing that does make me lean towards Hidden Fates though is the quality of the Full Art GX Shines. We didn't get any today, but you've got 
Pokemon like Espeon, Umbreon, Mewtwo, Ho-Oh, Articuna, etc. And that's not me being a Gen 1 or that's not me being, you know, old Pokemon are the best. I know those Pokemon are from the original two generations. But my point there is that there's much more of a wider range of shinies in that full art category. However, in Shining Fates, you've got a much smaller pool of shiny full arts to go with. You know, the Vs and VMAXs. And in fact, I think it's clear so far that the Charizard VMAX from Shining Fates is a lot easier to pull than the shiny Charizard. And that's just due to the pool of full arts, right? Yes, VMAXs are harder to pull than the Vs, but when you do hit a VMAX, you've got a much better chance of getting that Charizard VMAX than if you hit a GX in Hidden Fates, because there's more of them, right? In my opinion, Shining Fates just wins across the board when it comes to the baby shinies, okay? In Hidden Fates, you've got the Ultra Beasts. I just saw in this video, we pulled the Katana, and that's not really an exciting pull. Whereas Dracovish, Dartrix, and Cramorant all do beat out that Katana. So I guess the result of this video, it's not an experiment, really. It's just a fun video. I would honestly say that both sets have their, you know, pros and both sets have their cons. And I think that's the point. I think in two years, will we still be opening Shining Fates as much as we're opening Hidden Fates? Or will we still continue to open Hidden Fates over Shining Fates? I guess time will tell and we have to wait and see. But thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. To make sure you do go and check out Xavi, our sponsors for this video in the description down below. Their new clothing range is really sick. And I definitely recommend checking them out and also checking the rest of their website out. Make sure you do use both my codes as well, Randolph10 and Randolph20 for some added discounts. But again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.